Welcome to the March Full Moon Guided Meditation. I'm so grateful to meditate with you under this loving and healing full moon of March. Within this meditation, I'll guide you to ground into Mother Earth and then gently release whatever is no longer serving you. Next, with the help of Chiron, the wounded healer, we'll guide you to heal and to reintegrate the parts of you that you've left behind in past, present, and future relationships. And by doing so, activating the loving energy within you to its highest potential and expression. Harnessing the loving Venus healing energies on offer during this March full moon. Would you please start to find a comfortable position you like to meditate in? There's no right or wrong way. Simply allowing yourself to get comfortable. Settle in. And then once you're comfortable, close your eyes and take a deep cleansing breath. On the exhale, allow yourself to start to fall deeper into relaxation. Settling into your body. Relaxing. And falling deeper and deeper into meditation. Would you please become aware of your physical body? It's becoming activated and starting to let go. And then becoming aware of your magnificent light body, the soul aspect of you. Calling your soul home. Squeezing into your physical body. And then anchoring your light right within your heart chakra. Starting to relax and let go even more. Under this loving and healing full moon, our souls are experiencing an awakening of our hearts to a greater state of loving. And as you're surrounded by more love, Would you start to become aware that your energetic body is already intuitively sensing the urge to ground into Mother Earth by energetically sprouting roots, connecting from your body down through the foundation that supports you, and intuitively growing towards Mother Earth's core? As your roots are growing and anchoring at a deep subconscious level, you're starting to feel more love, more balanced, more harmonized, sensing pure medicinal energy pulsing through you. Healing you. Revitalizing you. Bringing you back to your natural state of love. The March full moon nudges us to call in loving partnerships without malice, without selfishness, or dominance to bring forward soulmate partnerships within our love lives, business, and our family and friends. Starting to sense your roots have now landed. They've anchored. And they've plugged into the crystalline core of Mother Earth. 
And then would you please give them a good energetic tug? And this activates your grounding cord so you could start to let go. Take another deep breath in. And let it all go on the exhale. Simply with intention or thought, start to let go and release whatever is no longer serving you. Releasing it from your body, down your roots, and handing it to Mother Earth for her to transmute it for you. This is our soul agreement with her, to simply allow and let go so she can fulfill her agreement with you to transmute that energy. Every full moon, Lady Light shines so bright to encourage you to let go while she holds space for you and holds the light. With that, please take another relaxing deep breath in. And on the exhale, let it all go. Handing all of your worries your stress, any anxiety you're carrying, any concerns that are weighing on you. Any cares, any problems you can't solve. Handing all of this over to Mother Earth in the full moon. And then set the intention to let go of anything and everything that's not beneficial within your life. You don't have to know what it is. Just say hello and let it go. If you're holding on to any expectations, maybe any judgments about love, would you please take another deep breath in and let that go on the exhale. When we set expectations, we tend to get disappointed. So just letting go of all expectations to life Maybe to where you thought you'd be right here, right now. Let it all go. Because you're exactly where you're supposed to be. If you're holding on to any emotional pain or suffering, set it to release and let it go. Any physical pain, let that go too. Maybe any mental suffering, the part of you that goes round and round in your head and there's no solution. Let it go. If you're experiencing any spiritual dis-ease, discomfort, simply with intention, let it all go.
The March full moon is all about rebirthing your loving energy and connecting to the divine love within you. And then projecting your divine love onto others. During the March new moon, Venus, the planet of love, Father, Son, and Chiron are all in alignment. This configuration may stir up some wounded healer love scars. And how this may look on Earth? They may communicate to you through floating thoughts and memories from this lifetime or maybe other lifetimes. Chiron is represented as a centaur and was abandoned at birth and left to fend for itself. It was in this wound of abandonment and suffering through its upbringing that it was able to rise up and turn its wounds into powerful portals of healing. And this is why Chiron is referred to as the wounded healer. We all possess the same powers as Chiron. Inside each one of us, we have the ability to take our wounds from pain and suffering and to turn them into a source of divine power, strength, and healing. As the poet Rumi says, the wound is where the light enters you. As you're starting to feel your energy shift, you're starting to become aware that the full moon in all of her fresh glory has now positioned herself right over you. You feel filled with light and love. And full moons are gifts of purging and letting go. Sometimes we can't move forward without saying goodbye to our old ways to make room for the new experiences. So as the full moon positions herself over you, you can feel her powerful release energy. And within this space, simply with intention, start to relax under her and let go.
as you're starting to feel lighter in frequency from letting go under the full moon. You notice that the full moon herself, Lady Light, is now bringing forward and bringing to light all of your love wounds and scars that have been hiding within you. These deep love wounds and scars have been created at traumatic or painful moments within your lifetime. At this point of pain and suffering, our souls create an aspect of you to carry the pain and suffering of that moment because it's just too painful for your human awareness to carry it. So this love wound is allowed to fragment from your human awareness and stay trapped deep within your heart, just too painful to expose itself again. So now you're starting to sense, one by one, all of your love wounds and scars stepping out of your heart and lining up in front of you. And you don't have to know who or what each one is or understand what each one represents. Simply allowing the full moon and her powerful energy to usher them to you. For you to make peace with these wounded fragments of your heart that Chiron has been watching over. As you start to make peace with each of these love wounds and scars, watching them transform from a painful wound to a mark of pure light. Now that all of your love wounds and scars have been transmuted into pure loving light, allow each one to step back inside of you. One by one, fully integrating all aspects of your love battle wounds. becoming more whole, more you,
more loving. Becoming aware that each love wound has now fully transmuted and fully integrated back home to your heart. No longer afraid, it is safe to love and you are allowing more of yourself to integrate than you have in the past. No longer afraid to wear your heart as a badge of honor. As all of your love wounds and scars have become whole again, no longer broken, afraid, or in pain, you can fully start to be lovingly whole again, not attached to an outcome. You can now become aware that Chiron the Centaur is stepping from the full moon. Chiron now kneels down before you, blesses and honors you. Chiron knows all too well how painful the journey of the wounded healer is, especially when it comes to affairs of the heart. Floating above you are the light of the full moon. Father Sun is in the distance, and Chiron are all in alignment, shining their celestial light over you. Completely in awe of you and are now bowing in sacred ceremony before you. As they all rise, Chiron takes his bow of light and fills your old love wounds with his divine light, honoring your journey even further. As you can now wear your love, pain, and suffering as a high heart badge of honor. You have been through so much. It is now time to shine the light towards others. As they bless you and the integration of all of your love wounds, they thank you for choosing your path and continuing to hold strength on your journey, even when times might feel dark. as they all step back outside of your aura, moving further away. They send a shooting star of divine loving energy to fill your entire energetic field. allowing you to be filled with the most wonderful, unconditional, loving energy that you've ever experienced. You can feel the love. You can feel the revitalized charge of this new higher frequency that now surrounds you. As your soul remembers what unconditional love feels like and then allowing it to anchor into your physical body 
so your physical body can feel and experience unconditional love. As you slowly bring your awareness back to your physical body, you see that you now are a fully integrated, love-wounded healer, a true love warrior, ready to carry the light for others as you have been gifted the light through your heart's pain and suffering. And no matter what is in front of you, you know you carry the powerful strength and vitality of Chiron. You could get through anything. You are filled with love. You feel supported, nurtured, cared for. You feel like you can look back with the old knowledge and wisdom of what you've been through with the eyes of a loving kindred spirit. And you can now laugh at that old life that was so wounded, so triggered. The old you. It was just pain. And it feels so distant, so far away. As you embrace this new loving kindred energy that your wounds and scars have given you, transmuted into pure light, you can now be pure love again. And you can now feel pure joy and bliss and amusement. There's nothing holding you back now from living your heaven on earth, whatever that is for you. In this new loving spirit of yours, will you slowly start to pull your awareness back to your body? Slowly coming back to your physical body's heart. And back to your new blissful heaven on earth. Receiving and activated this new high frequency Venus energy. Being activated throughout your aura. Your body. Your chakra system. Your legs and arms. Fingers and toes. Now activated, you can slowly start to bring your awareness back to the room you're in. And then when you're ready and you feel like you could come out of meditation and you feel lovingly restored, you can slowly start to wiggle your toes and fingers a little. Maybe like you're waking up from a delightful and restful nap. 
stretching your arms and legs as far apart as possible. And with a smile on your face and heart, slowly open your eyes and slowly come out of meditation. Happy loving March full moon, my way shower tribe. I'm so grateful for each one of you. Would you please comment how your love has activated? I want to hear about it. And of course, I hope you enjoyed this meditation. It's my highest honor to meditate with you during the lunar cycles. If you don't know me by now, I'm Crystal. And I'd be honored if you did resonate with my work to maybe subscribe. I offer new moon and full moon meditations. Maybe talk about your love experiences in the comments because that's a really true highlight for me, how you're all being activated out there. And then of course, if you want to work with me further, you can visit the links in the description. And you can also sign up for my next free Solstice Summit virtual retreat with some of today's most high vibe influencers or learn how to connect with our online psychic development tribe or work with me personally. Until the new moon, be well, my way shower tribe. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude.